So now let's work around with the soft selection tool inside of Cinema 4D. In order to work with soft selection, I'm going to drag a shape right here. So I'm going to bring up this cube and let me add in segments to this. So I'm going to have segments of 10 by 10 by 10, just like this. And I'm going to make this editable by converting this into a polygonal shape by pressing C. So now, uh, in order to understand soft selection, let us understand the default selection. So I'm going to go over here onto the point mode right here. I'm going to click this and you can see that I can pull out the point and then adjust the shape right here. But if I want to make a smoother selection, for example, if I want a bunch of um, other uh, dots right here, and then if I were to move this, uh, and if I want a soft selection, I can turn on the soft selection tool. And to do that, I'm going to go to the selection tool right here. And over here, once I do that under the live selection options under mode, you can see that there's soft selection as an option. Once I turn that on, you can see that the preview is on. It actually highlights the area uh, that is selected more in, in more amount of strength, uh, strength in yellow. So if I were to pull this out, you can see that the area where the yellow highlight is more is ac actually gets pulled more than compared to the one that is highlighted in less amount of yellow, just like that. And you create a kind of a soft selection, as you can see. I can also increase the radius of the soft selection, so more areas is selected. And I can also decrease the area, as you can see, so that less area is selected, just like that. And I can work around with the strength as well. So let me just select around this much, just like that. And I can decrease the strength over here. You can see that there's only a bit of soft selection now. And you can increase the strength so that you can see that it really affects the area just like that. So this is the linear fall off, as you can see. And let me just increase the radius a bit so that you can understand this more. And over here, you can also go for dome, which is more, um, has more of a strength right here. And you'll be able to see uh, how it affects the area just like this. So you got high. Uh, pressure point over here and the lower one right here. You can also go for the bell one as you can see so it has more strength in between as you can see right there. You also have uh, other soft selection like circle right here. You can see that more of the circular area is selected just like that. There's the needle which actually selects only one part as you can see right there as well and you can also expand this see other options to actually edit them out as well. So you can go over here on to spline and you can also manually control all of this as you can see. So you can see that now I can actually uh, add in points right here as well and make different splines just like that. And you can see that a wave like effect is actually going on onto the selection. So according to the wave, the soft selection is affected just like this. So you can work around with the shapes you want just like that. You can adjust the strength and work around with these. So this is how you can work around with the soft selection. So if you want to make anything like, let's say squishy, or you want to uh, work around and make it, make things more organic, you can use the soft selection tool. So in, our, in my case, let me use the pyramid tool right here. So you can see that everything uh, seems quite stiff right now. But if I were to increase the segments right now to around 24 XC, and then press C, and if I were to select this, you can see that now I can do a soft selection and the same soft selection that we did according to what we had uh, worked out with actually comes up. And you can see that you can make these organic shapes just like that. You can also select the edges right here and it works the same. The soft selection works the same there. And you can also select the face and the soft selection works there as well. You can see that it is already an organic shape just like this. So now I can go to uh, my soft selection tool right over here and I can turn off the preview as well. The soft selection works just like that, but it's much more easier to actually turn on the preview and see how everything works like. You can also restrict everything out so that it only uh, like selects only certain areas or you can expand it just like this. So that is how soft selection works inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.